Hey, Craig, can you believe the River Market Entertainment District is three months old already? <laughs> Lost track. I know. Early results have been good for the bars on that downtown block, though. But the concept is about more than bars, and uh, THV 11's Roly Hoyt shows us there's already a one-day expansion in the works. Roly? concept of carousing down a closed off Clinton Avenue has been well received. Crowds have been big, especially when there's an event going on like a concert. And now that the idea is going, it's already time to turn the corner, literally. Why would we not want people to come in and promote us? Like, I think it's amazing. Fringe clothing describes the trendy vibe in Kendall Shanifer's downtown store, but it also describes her location. Her shop is just around the corner from the streets that are closed off for the weekend entertainment district. I love it as far as our business goes and our business hours with the entertainment hours. We haven't seen a lot of change. But on November 30th, she'll be in the fold. In an effort to be as inclusive as possible so that people could take their drink with them um, as they shopped, we just asked for like a half block extension. So Diana Long with the River Market says shops like Fringe and Love and the Bar Stickies get to join the party. The way it works, you close the street and you open up the entertainment. You can go right from a bar with your drink in hand and come enjoy it outside. On November 30th, the plan will be to maybe enjoy some college football, bring your drink right out to the street, and get some holiday shopping done. You know, I would say it's gone pretty close to according to plan. Danny Bryant has been driving the bus or streetcar on this whole concept. As a bar owner, he's happy with the entertainment district so far and says most concerns haven't come to pass. It hasn't been and we didn't want it to be Beale Street or Bourbon Street. That was the concern and that was what some of the uh, opponents were saying. Whenever it hasn't happened. We didn't want that. November 30th is Small Business Saturday. That's the day set aside after Black Friday to focus on shopping local. But three months in, Bryant thinks other shops will soon want to join the dancing in the streets. I think that we've proven that it's not going to be something that the city can't handle. Now we asked the LRPD for any crime stats in that area and they haven't seen anything that you could blame on taking booze down the block. The extension down River Market Drive is on the Board of Directors agenda for tomorrow night.